Where do you go to find a word from the Lord? True to you. Where do you go to find hope? You thought you could sing, can't you? I know I can. I can out do you. Well, go ahead and show the people. You can come to Channel you. Grandpa, you just showing off. Y'all, Grandpa Hope is just showing off today. I, I give it to you. You can, can sing. You can sing a little bit. Oh, I know I can. <laughs> oh, welcome, y'all, to Trinity's Youth Hour. We have a great program in store for you all today, don't we, Grandpa uh, Hope? Yes, we do. I need y'all to share this video right now. Ain't that right, Reverend Jones? Yeah, that's right. Share this video right now because I'm telling you we have a special guest today. So I don't want you all to go anywhere. We will be right there. Where do I go to find a word from the Lord? Trinity you hour. Where do I go to find hope? Trinity you hour. Where do I go to find a word from the Lord? It's in my heart. It's in my heart. It's in my heart. 
give him your heart. Just give God a try. Just give God a try. It's in my heart. I said, believe it, I do it. It's in my heart. I said, believe it, I do it. It's in my heart. The reason come on sing the way he does. share this video right now. We have an amazing program in store for you today. We have a special guest. Don't we, Grandpa uh, Hope? Yeah, we have a great man of God who's going to come today. I guess you all are wondering who it is. You have to wait and see. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of serving God with your whole heart. Isn't that right? Yes, we need to give God everything we got. Some people give God just a little bit. Really? You know it. They give God, they give everything else, but they won't give it to God. <laughs> Amen. But God wants you to give all of you to, to God. Huh? I'm talking about your heart encompasses everything, your entire being, and that you strive to do as much as you can to serve God. I know it's not easy. Right, it's not easy. Right, but God wants us to give our all to God. So I want you all to share this video because we have a special guest. And Ma Sueli, your granddaughter. Oh, my granddaddy. Yeah, she is going to ask some questions. Hallelujah. She's going to posit some questions to our special guest. So I need you all to share this video right now. Enjoy this program. Well, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. We have a special guest. Well, he's not really a guest. He needs no introduction. Y'all say hello to who? Reverend Jacobs, y'all. I must wait. <laughs> hey, Reverend Jacobs. It's so good to see you in person. I know that's right. Reverend Jacobs has told me so much about you. I was like, I already know who Reverend Jacobs is. And I know about you because I've watched you on the screen. For real? I hope yeah. I look all right. Do I look all right? Yeah, you look good. <laughs> you know, I just got my hair did, Reverend Jacobs. <laughs> well, Reverend Jacobs, today we are talking about loving the Lord with all your heart. What does that mean to you? You have been in ministry a long time. So we want to just hear a little bit about your journey and how you have been able to bless Trinity United Church of Christ for all of these years. How have you loved the Lord with all of your heart? Tell the young people a little bit about that. Well, it starts with me being a child myself. And I met a lady who lived down the street from me who witnessed to me about the power of God in her life. Mm. And I used to run errands for her. Really? I used to walk right down the railroad tracks to come up to the cleaners and drop off stuff for her at the cleaners and to the grocery store and purchase greens for her and different things that she would give me some change wow. when I got back. But she always made it a point to tell me about God when we would be talking to each other. Oh my God, really, Earl Jacobs? Yes, yes, and then she took me to a revival when I was about 12 years old. And that was the first time that I ever claimed to be a follower of Jesus Christ. And she scolded me about that because she said, you're a sinner, you're not in church. What? Yeah. <laughs> I know she didn't. Yes, she did. <laughs> but it was a, that was the beginning of my journey with God. And I look back on those days with fond memories of Mrs. McCullough. Wow. Thank you, Reverend Jacobs. Well, 
blessing us here at Trinity for what, 20 some years? Yes. Like, oh my God, like you are a trailblazer. And I just want to take this time right now and say thank you for your service. How did you end up at Trinity? Well, my best friend who I went to high school with invited me to come see a play that he was in here at Trinity back in the old days when we were in the church building down the street. Oh, y'all used to have another building? Yeah, we, we where, it's where our daycare facility is now. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yes. And so uh, he brought me up here that summer when I came home from college mm -hmm. and introduced me to this church. My best friend, Mike Brown. What? Yeah. Is he still living? Yes, he is. Awesome. He's a retired judge. Thank you, Mike Brown. You set it up so Reverend Jacobs can be here. Come on, somebody. <laughs> but how did you become youth pastor? Well, I was working with youth in the choir and the Boy Scouts, and I coached baseball here at Trinity. I did a lot of stuff with youth, and I always wanted to mentor to youth, so I began my journey as a youth pastor, as a volunteer first, as a church school teacher, and a lot of young people who I worked with down through the years, and now grown people with their own children. What? And I'm bringing them back to the church to, to participate in the youth ministries that they participated in themselves when they were young. Oh my God! So, um, how did you get to offer? Reverend Wright was a pastor then, right? Yes. Pastor Emeritus? Yes. So how did he see you? What about you? You must have a heart for God, and that's what we're talking about today. Having a heart for God. Did he see that? Yes. He is the one who told me I had a call on my life some years of be way before I actually acknowledged my call. Mm. And Reverend Wright saw it in me before I saw it in myself. What? Yes. God put it on his heart to ask me about being a minister. And I ran from my ministry for 19 years. Not you, Reverend Jacobs. <laughs> you ran? Like Jonah? Were you in a, were you in a well? A belly of a well? I didn't exactly fall in the belly of a well, but I fell into some other troubles. I know that's right. <laughs> Y'all heard that, young people? But then God began to work with me, and I began to trust God, and I began to explore ways to be closer with God, and that's how I ended up introducing the confirmation students who were in the choir at the choir concert that year mm -hmm. in 1997. And Pastor Wright heard me introducing those young people because I talked about the passage in Luke 2 where Jesus is found in the temple talking with the elders and asking questions and answering questions and that word. Questions? You know my name means questions in Swahili, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. And so he said, I've been looking for somebody to be the youth pastor. He is right in front of me all along. Oh my God! And so he called me the next day, and he called me out of the clear blue sky and offered me the position of talking to him about a youth pastor. Oh my God, Reverend Jacobs! And Reverend Jacobs, we are so grateful for you. We are, Maswelli, Can I say something? I mean, I, I'm not. You've been asking, I, 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 Reverend Jones. Look. I, you have been around Reverend Jacobs. I haven't. So I want to ask him some questions. I get it. But can I say something? Okay. Reverend Jacobs, we are so grateful for you. You know, I you know, was blessed to come here, um, you know, standing on the shoulders of Reverend Jacobs. And I'm so grateful for him. I call him, call him Reverend Uncle. And I want him to know that the young people appreciate you. Your son, your nephew appreciates you. Because you showed me so much. I can learn so much from you. I have learned so much from you. To be able to be in ministry for 20 some years, he is so wise. Y'all, when I feel like I want to give up and when I feel like I don't know how I'm going to make it, when I make mistakes, I look to him. because He shows me how to have character and how to love the Lord with your whole heart. And we love you, Reverend Jacobs.
We appreciate you. We love you too. God bless you, Rev. I appreciate that. And thank you for being on Trinity's Youth Hour. <laughs> so, Rev. Jacob, I want you to do something. I want you to look into the camera and tell the young people how much you miss them and how you've been praying for them. Young people, I want you to know that I've been praying for you and that we miss you and we can't wait to get back in church together so we can celebrate the Lord together. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Reverend Jacobs. We love you. Tell Reverend Jacobs you love. Look, I can, I can speak for myself. I love you, Reverend Jacobs. I love you too, my sweetie. <laughs> my sweetie, I need you to tell Hallelujah, the people of God, that you love them too. I love y'all. Y'all take care and keep loving the Lord with all your heart. <laughs> Well, I tell you, didn't we enjoy Reverend Jacobs? Oh my God, I did! I'm telling you, the last couple of weeks, I have not been feeling my best, Reverend Jones. Really? You know it. But I tell you, today we learned from an amazing man of God. Reverend Jacobs is an amazing man. I'm telling you, he's not a guest, you know. But he, you know, made his debut on Trinity's Youth Hour. But he certainly is a giant in this village. I know that's right. He has inspired so many young people and parents. He has been a blessing. And we just thank God for him. Oh, yes, we do. I'm so grateful for him. He's been a blessing to me. Amen. In ways he doesn't know. Amen. He has been talking to us about what? The heart. The what? The heart. The what? The heart. The what? The heart <laughs> about how we should love the Lord with all our heart, mind, and soul. That's the Bible. Oh, that's Bible. That's Bible. <laughs> hey, Masweli, you know in Swahili, Masweli's name means questions. Oh, yeah, I got questions for days. But we thank God for those questions because our young people had a chance, hallelujah, to get to know Reverend Jacobs a little bit more. Amen. Amen. So, do you want to sing? Do you want to sing? Yeah. We want to sing this song. I really love the Lord. Do you love the Lord? Huh? Do you love the Lord? You about to sing. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Come on, sing. Oh, yeah. Encourage us and sing, my swelly.